Welcome back everyone. We're out here at Lake Hood and we have the plane finally loaded up here. Took a little bit to get everything organized. Belly pod's pretty full too. Warren's in here getting the GPS's up and running. And then we are uh, gonna take off here and head out to our moose hunting area. first stop is Port Allsworth where we will refuel the plane. To get there we need to fly through Lake Clark Pass. with no issues and continue on to Port Allsworth. Here you see an aerial photo of Port Allsworth. They have two airstrips through the heart of the town, which gives you an indication of how heavily they rely on planes. It is the only community in the Lake Clark National Park and Preserve. As a result, it is very popular with tourists during the summer months. We are only here long enough to refill our fuel tanks and then continue on our journey. Our next stop is Antioch. Unfortunately, we are not able to take a direct route there due to the weather, but we eventually make it to our destination. Morning everyone, it is now Friday morning. We left Anchorage yesterday and uh, made it into Antioch last night. So we stayed in Antioch, got a Airbnb, and uh, just got dropped back off here at the, the airport in Antioch and are getting everything loaded back up actually ran into uh, a couple other hunters that are headed into the same general area as us. Oren knows them, um, and so we're going to be flying out with them today. They're going to be hunting a little different area, but still relatively close to us. So just for safety, we're going to be flying out as a group today. Um, they're in a super cub over here, as you can see. So, uh, but yeah, we're just getting, getting final things loaded up and then getting ready to take off. Just got a plane coming in here, and uh, we'll be out of here shortly. From Antioch, we head to our final destination and our moose hunting grounds at... Come on, guys. I can't give you our final location. If I did that, there'd be a hundred people next time we went. <sighs> Alright, guys. We made it here. Uh, we are in what we think is excellent moose country. Well, we know that there is because there's two big bulls yeah, just over that. There's, there's right two here. bulls uh, <laughs> down in this valley back here that we saw on the way in. So um, we decided to land here. There was somebody um, at the spot we wanted to hunt. Yeah, they of really all seen, places. Yeah, of all places, there's nobody else out here. But 500 miles out here. Yeah, and uh, somebody in our spot, our spot. As you can uh, see, we were fighting the weather. Yeah. We're flying about 300 feet off the ground a lot of the time. And yeah, the weather's been really sketchy here. So we stayed in Antioch last night. Um, we were hoping to make it all the way out here yesterday, but the weather just wasn't wasn't good enough to do that. So we stayed in Antioch. Flew a couple more hours this morning. Yeah, flew a couple hours this morning to get to this spot. And uh, good news is we're here. So It's a little bit bumpier than it looked. Yeah, it's a little, ground's a little bumpy. We can't hunt until tomorrow because there's a no fly and shoot uh, thing going on out, uh, that happens up here for uh, so it's still considered sporting so you can't shoot something the the same day you fly so uh, we're just gonna do some glassing and get camp set up and uh, get the plane tied down for the day so it's kind of what we got on the agenda and uh, we're gonna we're gonna get started 
All right, we got the uh, got the plane tied down. We got our tent set up. Just finished uh, eating a snack here. Um, just about to start glassing around. We've seen a few few moose while we've been working, getting everything set up. But uh, found a nice little bull to to start with here. Most people would say it's a it's a big bull, but um, he's he's, he's kind of weak on his fronts, although they're crazy long. Yeah, he's probably only about. I don't know. What do you think? 50, 58? I don't know. Yeah, I don't. He's I don't not know. huge. He's definitely got some really wide paddles. Yeah, there. very, yeah, pretty, pretty wide paddles, and he's got some. We'll turn some of those. Here. Some of those tines are pretty long too. I mean, you think about it, you're looking at a fifteen hundred pound animal there, so. And he's way. I mean, he's way off in the distance <clears> right now. So I got max magnification on this, and I'm using the two X lens on the phone through the phone scope. So he's uh, he's definitely out there a ways. A couple miles, yeah. Oh, here you turn the turn first. But yeah, not, not a bad bull. I don't think he's what we're looking for, at least not this early in the hunt. But Jeez, look at him there. Oof. He's definitely a nice bull. He's got some length on a couple of his tines that are yeah. just crazy. All right, we made it down here to our first glass and spot. Um, I'll show you the valley here real quick. Uh, the plane is actually just up on that ridge top up there, kind of where the dark clouds are. We can walk down, uh, came back up, keep the wind in our favor. But we. Uh, We've seen what four bulls out here right now. Yeah, four, bulls in this valley. four bulls in this valley that we spotted so far. Two are laying uh, with each other on on this close hillside, and then we have two on the farther hillside. Um, the ones on the close hillside look like uh, look like better bulls, or at least one of them definitely does. Yeah, so, yeah. So we're just kind of waiting for them to stand up, uh, so we can get a good look at them. Right now, we've only seen them from the side, so we need to see a see them from the front and see see how wide he looks, but. Um, a lot of bulls in this area right now. So we saw two when we were flying in. Now there's four. Like this there's, is, there's one across from there's camp. There's one across from camp that's probably around 60. Yeah. Um, so we are in a prime spot. So we're just glassing, seeing what we have in the area, and seeing if uh, there's anything Warren wants to take with his rifle first thing in the morning. So can't shoot till tomorrow. So we're just just glassing for the night. All right, guys, we have. What is probably a shooter here? Like he's he's that's a, that's a nice bull. It's a nice bull. I'm gonna get a quick look on here. I'll show you the footage on the uh, right from the the phone later. But super nice bull. Yeah. Best one we've seen out here so far. He's right in with those same other two same right valley there. where we've seen those other four. He's down in here, down down more in the bottom of the valley. Oh, but he's grunting. Get a, he's grunting. Get a video. Yeah. yeah, that's me. Um, this one's nice though. Big paddles. He's got got some nice brow tines up front. It looks like definitely on this the, side. The he's width got a on his paddles is huge. Yeah, big width on the paddles. So yeah, he's know. a monster. Look at that. Look at that. He's got a bunch of trash. He's got trash all over him. But yeah. this valley is is producing for us. This moose is huge. He's grunting. This thing is a beast. Look at walk. He's swaying and grunting. Damn, that's a big bull. His horns just make his body look small. Yeah. yeah. Or antlers. Or yeah. Oh, there he's turning. Look, there he is. He's got all kinds of trash. Oh, yeah, he's got everything. He wants to go for an airplane ride. Yeah, that's him. All right. What time is it? It is 8.55. We are just got in the tent, getting situated here for the night. And uh, going to get up before first light, get some food, and then head out to where we saw those big bulls so hopefully we get one first thing yeah um, never know Warren's going for it with a rifle so yeah he's he's hunting first we got a a nice option just in the the valley on off to the side of us here so uh we're going to be looking for that bull first thing in the morning and hopefully we can uh, he's got a couple other ones with him too yeah there's a, there's a couple decent ones over there that we didn't get a look at so um I mean, we'll be happy shooting that one either way. But yeah. We definitely want to get a look at, at a couple other ones that we saw because uh, there's a few nice ones uh, just in this valley. What do we see over here? Eight? Eight bowls. Eight or nine bowls valley. in one valley. It's a little valley, too. Yeah, it's not that big. But uh, yeah, they're all stacked in there for some reason. Not even that many cows. So super weird. But uh, we saw a couple other bowls on, on some of the other valleys that we glassed uh, sitting up here by the plane. But uh, we're going for that big bowl here first thing in the morning. So. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna get some rest here. It's been a long day getting the plane tied down and all the camp set up and then the glassing and uh, we get some rest and we'll uh, we'll connect with you guys in the morning. All right. Good morning. It's Saturday, September sixteenth. 
uh, opening day for us to be able to hunt since we just flew in yesterday. Um, good, good night's sleep. Weather's looking good today. Uh, wind has shifted directions though. It's actually coming out of the opposite direction of what it was before. Um, so we're going to have to change our plans for how we go, go at this valley. We're actually going to um, shoot a little bit farther to the east um, and then kind of kind of dip up into one of the other drainages and get on the, the other ridge uh, and then glass into the valley from that side. Uh, and that should push our wind up over the mountain away from them. So um, big thing when hunting these moose like this is, is wind direction and not getting your scent to them. Camo doesn't really matter. Um, you know, noise, it's pretty wet out here. There's a lot of moose in the area, so they're used to hearing noises. Um, that's not as big of a deal, but your, your scent getting um, getting to them is, is probably the biggest deal, so you really gotta play the wind. Um, so that's what we're gonna be doing this morning. We're gonna, we're gonna glass some of the other mountain uh, uh, tops here as we, as we move in that direction, see if we see another bull that we didn't see yesterday. Um, but we're gonna be trying to get on that big bull that we spotted, uh, spotted last night. All right, we made it to the other ridge, a uh, glassing spot where we wanted to make it to, and there are moose all over down there. There's probably about 20 different bulls. Um, there's too many. There's too many they're almost. All, they're all over 50, most of them. Yeah, they're they're, they're big bulls. Um, we're trying to come up with a game plan right now of how to work in on them. Wind's in our favor right now, so that's good. Um, so we're just kind of watching them right now, seeing what they're gonna do, and then figure out a plan to move in, so. All right, we made it up to the uh, spot we were going for after we last glassed, and uh, we're here. I think Warren's got the one picked out he wants. You gonna shoot that one? Uh, I think so, if he'll turn this way. He's got all kinds of drops and a club with the horn. It looks like an Irish elk, kind of, I don't know. It's yeah, weird, he's super interesting. There's tons of normal, normal bulls. Yeah. Bulls, but, um, this one's kind of got some character. So I think we, we're gonna, the wind's coming at us right now, so it's in our favor. I think we're gonna, low crawl all the way up to some bushes uh, a few hundred yards up and see if we can uh, get within range of him. He's too far right now, so we definitely need to close the gap. He's five or six hundred right now. Yeah, we need to get within three. All right, we, we snuck within uh, within range of the hillside we were trying to get to. There's two bulls up here right now that are about 200 yards away, not the shooters we want. So I'm trying to figure out if we're going to wait or try to move past them. One of them's kind of looking in our direction, so it's not a good time to move. All right, guys, we got in position. We're 150 yards from the bull. We got a couple other bulls looking in our direction. Um, the bull's laying down right now, so we got to wait for him to stand up, but Warren's, Warren's on point. Shit, there was a cow in there too. You can hear him grunting and now and I don't know if you can hear that on the on the recording. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> One of the 
those bowls went and laid right next to the big one we're after here. Wait, wait. He's got that other bowl behind him. Did you hit him? Yeah, I hit him. What? Yeah, I got him. Don't shoot him again. He's got another bowl right behind him. Let's see what he does. I can sneak one in there if you want me to. No, nah, dude, that's too... What's I'm, that? I'm not sure you hit him. You want me to hit him again? Well, no, because... I, he's clear. I'm good. I don't think he's clear, though. You might hit that one behind him. I mean, if you miss that time, right? I don't know. You want me to hit him again? He's clear. I'm going to hit him one more time. If you feel he's clear. Yeah. How about that time? Yeah, that... I'd say he's... I'd say he's done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bowl down, first bowl down, first day of hunting. Good work, Warren. Thank you. That's what you came out here for? I'm, I'm not, not sure, sure what exactly how big show. he is. What's that? So I'm not sure exactly how big he is. Yeah, either am I. He's got some cool stuff though. He's got, he's got definitely got some character, so. He waited till it was pouring ass rain. Yeah, we've been sitting out here for probably an hour. Still other bowls up here, yeah. right where he is. My glasses are covered in rain. We freaking pancaked him on that second one. <laughs> That's good work, man. Yeah. This is nice. <laughs> the weather turned pretty terrible. Here yeah, it's garbage cold. now. Been pretty decent this morning and then. All right, gun is clear. Past five minutes, all right. Brand new magazine in there. Oh, the other moose are leaving the country now, slowly. Still got moose out here. Yeah. We've got a big, big one to take care of now. Big one to take care of. Fun's just Work's beginning. about to start right when the weather gets bad. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. So, <laughs> weather's garbage. Now we got to deal with this moose. We got in the rain. Yeah, in the rain now. Maybe yeah. it won't last very long. It won't that bad over there. All the moose running. Yeah, I don't know if you can. And that's only only a few of them. A few of them. This whole valley. There's a bunch just more full of bowls. over here. Yeah, I mean, bowls everywhere. Hopefully, we just push them into one of these other valleys, and then oh, there's more coming out. Yeah, it's coming out at the top. All right, guys, it's our first day of actual hunting out here, um, and we got, a, we got a real nice bull down here. So this was Orin's. He took it with a, with a rifle, as you saw in the previous footage here, but finally got up to the animal and, and kind of got it set up to show. So um, Orin, if you want to talk about it here real quick. They're uh, a little bit hard to get set up to show because they're just so big. Yeah. I and mean, they're like a Clydesdale horse, but they, uh, uh, this one was unique. All the other bulls were kind of, you know, and there's lots of 50-inch plus bulls, uh, two, three, four four brow tines on each side uh, but this one just stood out because it was it has uh, quite a bit going on here but uh, anyway we could see it from a long ways away and we nicknamed it the club or I well, nicknamed him George D George Clubia George Clubia yesterday because looking at this antler on on you know on his right side uh, it looked like an Irish elk or something. It was yeah, definitely... and we, we only got a real brief look at him the other night. We didn't we, he didn't come out fully so we actually didn't see him completely out in the open until till this morning when we were glassing. Yeah, we just got a glimpse of him and uh, he's bizarre looking from a long ways away in the spotting scope because his, his brow tine on this side almost looks like a caribou bez because it's laid on its side and then he's got drops coming off, uh, one on this side and at least two or three on this side and yeah. then he's got this long dagger that comes off there and yeah. he's still in velvet. Uh, we, uh, he might be a eunuch bull, we're not, we're not really sure what the deal is with him yet but uh, uh, it probably will actually make him better eating. Yeah, uh, definitely. He's not all rutted up. He didn't really care about all the cows. There was cows calling out around us. Nope. Uh, but we were able to sneak, sneak into, I ranged up at 145 yards. And of course, all the other bulls got up and were walking around all over the place while it was nice and sunny out. And he waited till it was, a little squall came through and it was pouring rain. And and uh, I'm not sure what happened. We're gonna have to roll him over here or whatever when we get to cutting meat on that side of him. But uh, we'll try and figure out what uh, where that first bullet went. We're kind of thinking, might have missed, maybe had some rain in the barrel or 
It's my excuse anyway, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I can miss something that took up half the rifle scope. Yeah. And, uh, you know, at that distance. But uh, anyway, the seven millimeter, uh, the second one uh, did some work on him. So uh, he, he pretty much went straight down. As yeah. A, um, but uh, all the other bulls stayed around. There's still, there's a giant bull yeah. just right over here. We could go over and shoot him, but uh, this one's going to take us a day and a half to deal with. Yeah, we so, got to deal uh, with this first. And it's going to take quite a bit of flying too on top of that. So um, yeah. anyway, there's probably going to, I don't know if I had to guess how big he was, I'd say, I don't know, 1400 pounds. I'm not really sure to be yeah, honest. I don't with you. know. I mean, I'm just. Um, the antlers I mean, themselves are going to weigh 100 probably. Yeah. So um, anyway, it's a definitely a cool bull and a fun experience. And we're out here in the middle of nowhere and he's going to look really neat as a European mount. I'm probably going to have to take the, the antlers off. They're soft in some spots. Yeah. Um, kind of like early season deer, but um, I'll let them dry and harden and uh, then I'll take them off and then European mount them. I have some access deer at the house like that. So, uh, so it should look pretty cool when it's all done. When it's all done, they're they're a weird black color. Uh, he's just unique. I, I could have shot, you know, a, yeah, your traditional bull moose, and there was no shortage of them on nope. this hillside. But Not, uh, no this one just is bizarre looking. Every time he turned and looked, I'd, every time he turned and I'd look at him through the rifle scope, I was like, oh yeah, that's the, <laughs> that's the one Tons I want. Tons of character. I mean, you'll so, you'll never see any. I don't, I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, it's weird. Um, I've shot some black tailed deer like this on Kodiak, but. Uh, this, I've never seen a bull moose like this. Yeah. He actually has some white fur on the antler yeah. over here. I, I don't know. It's cool. It's different. I Definitely. like it. It's like a non-typical and yeah. has has character. So uh, so anyway, he'll be he'll be taking a plane ride home. But we got a lot of work ahead of us. We got to hike him up. The airplane's not too far away. We can almost see it. But uh, it's up a mountain. It's about about I don't know half mile away or so. And so yeah, we're gonna try and we'll... get it up to this hilltop, and then maybe I can fly over here and land and yeah and pick up all the meat off there. But there's gonna be you know, five to 600 pounds of meat that we're going to have to haul yep. up there at a hundred pounds a trip. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, here, I want to real quick here. I'm just going to take the camera off the tripod. Ugh. Let's just get a quick look at, at some of the cool features here. He's got a little like drop tine back here. Yeah. A little bit hard to see. Yeah. It's hard to see from back there, but you can see it right there. It's got kind of a wave in the paddle there. Yeah. Um, and then let's see the kind of, He's got five brow tines, tines on this on. side, and then his tilted sideways yeah. four. It looks like a caribou bez. It's weird. And the and spike is super cool back right here. Over here, he's with got the white, with the white. A couple more of his tines are bent down. So, and then he's got this weird one coming out right here. So, just yeah. super unique. Yeah, very unique. I've never seen anything like it. Like I said, so. Um, it super looks, nice bull, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm pumped for you. Yeah, this is super a, exciting. I'm glad we got him. This is your biggest bull. Biggest bull I've ever gotten. Yeah. So, Usually I shoot the first little one that comes along. <laughs> yeah, and we weren't going to do that this time, and we definitely had a lot of opportunities at bulls, and, and we got another candidate that's even. He's he's uh, I think he's considerably bigger than this one even. Yeah, it's, he's almost within sight right now. Yeah, but uh, anyway, this is all about the adventure. It's fun. Yep, we're gonna deal with this guy, and he'll take us the rest of today, and probably the better part of uh, tomorrow, and then uh, then I then it's my turn. I can pick up the bow yeah. and. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully put a big moose down with a bow. So yeah, our friends are uh, a couple ridges down from us uh, yep. with their super cub, and uh, we heard a gunshot this morning while we were putting the stock on this one, and they had said they had uh, said they uh, they had sent us a text saying they uh, uh, they had seen uh, a few bulls seen a few bulls the over there. Yeah. So they were they were they didn't sound like they were going to be quite as selective. So the first yeah. fifty inch plus bull that wandered by, they were going to drop them. the hammer on and get out of here because he had to go do some other flying. So yeah. Um, anyway, but yeah, the work begins. Yeah, great bull. Now the work begins.